The New York Yankees are undeniably the most storied franchise in the history of American sports. It's well known that they have 27 championship rings, which is far and away the most in the four major North American sports leagues. They haven't had a 162 game season under 500 since 1992, when they went 76 and 86. Going into the 2023 season, expectations were high. The signing of Carlos Rodon to bolster the rotation looked like a great move, and the lineup that was largely terrible outside of Aaron Judge would have a bounce back year. Harrison Bader looked like a difference maker in his short time on the field in the Bronx. He played a fantastic ALDS against the Guardians, in which he came up with big hits on offense and big plays on defense. Josh Donaldson, after suffering his worst season since the early 2010s, was primed for a rebound year. There were a lot of question marks surrounding the team, but most people picked them to repeat as American League East champions. What happened next was not what everyone expected. It started with Carlos Rodon, their marquee free agent signing, sustaining a left forearm strain in spring training. Clark Schmidt took over for him in the rotation and pitched terribly to start the year, having an ERA of over 6 in mid-May. Aaron Judge shortly went down after with a toe injury in June, and from there the team was never the same. They didn't quite finish under 500, but the 82-80 and 80 record they did have was their worst in over 30 years nonetheless. Injuries and underperformances were the main components for the team's failure and are the reason they fell well short of the expectations. With that said, the Yankees front office went into the offseason with a massive amount of pressure. If they underwent another season like that in 2024, many of them would probably lose their jobs and ticket revenue would be way down, so they got to work. On December 5th, the Yankees agreed to an ultra-rare trade with the Boston Red Sox, something that hadn't been done in years. In the deal, the Yankees acquired outfielder Alex Verdugo in exchange for prospects Richard Fitz, Greg Weissert, and Nicholas Judice. Verdugo, a career 105 OPS plus hitter, would slide in nicely in the outfield for the first half of the season. Jason Dominguez underwent Tommy John surgery last September and isn't going to be ready to play until June or July. He was excellent in his brief stint in 2023, compiling several home runs and big hits in about 10 games. But the most publicized and pivotal moment came the next day on December 6th. Slugger Juan Soto headed to the Yankees. According to our Jim Bowden, New York is sending pitchers Michael King, Johnny Brito, Randy Vasquez, number five prospect and pitcher Drew Thorpe, along with catcher Kyle Higashioka in exchange for Soto and outfielder Trent Grisham. At just 25 years old, Juan Soto was already one of the most feared hitters in baseball. His career 157 OPS plus through six seasons is one of the best marks of all time. And paired up with Aaron Judge, that duo would be in talks for the best in the league. Up there with Otani and Freeman, Acuna and Olsen, Altuve and Alvarez, and more. Soto had long been connected to the Yankees, and the deal cost them some very important assets, most notably Michael King and Drew Thorby. King had a stellar 2023 with a 158 ERA plus and over 100 innings of work out of the bullpen. Thorpey was the Yankees' top pitching prospect, and this was virtually the only trade the Yankees would consider including him in. While definitely not the focal point of the deal, Randy Vasquez was also sent to the Padres. He made five starts in 2023, putting up a 2.87 ERA and 33 strikeouts in just 37 innings. He's going to be a very good pitcher once given time to develop in the Padres organization. Just with these two acquisitions by themselves, the Yankees have hugely improved their lineup after a putrid 2023 on the offensive side of the ball. The Yankees missed out on Japanese phenom Yoshinobu Yamamoto, who went to the Dodgers after considering those two teams plus the Mets. And feeling the pressure from the fans, the Yankees went out and did something that felt like it would never happen a couple of years ago. After some past grievances with each other, the Yankees and 32-year-old starter Marcus Stroman agreed to a two-year, $34 million deal. Stroman is the owner of a career 116 ERA+, plus, and will go a long way to bouncing out this rotation in the short term, especially when one or two of the starters inevitably get hurt at some point during the early part of the season. Another part of the 2023 team that was dysfunctional was the bullpen. Normally a good unit under pitching coach Matt Blake, the relief pitchers struggled at times throughout the season. This was another issue that was immediately pounced on by the front office. Relievers Yeri De Los Santos, Cody Morris, Victor Gonzalez, and Caleb Ferguson were brought in to stabilize the bullpen. The most high-profile player they gave up in these transactions was Trey Sweeney, a top prospect shortstop in the Yankees system. But with Anthony Volpe looking like the long-term solution at that position, Sweeney seemed expendable. It's been one of the more memorable and seemingly impactful off-seasons in recent Yankees history, and I couldn't be more excited for what they have in store in 2024. According to Fangraphs, 
The projected lineup looks like DJ LeMahieu, Juan Soto, Aaron Judge, Anthony Rizzo, Glaber Torres, Alex Verdugo, Giancarlo Stanton, Anthony Volpe, and Austin Wells. That sounds a million times better than having guys like Willie Calhoun and Franchi Cordero getting regular at-bats. As for the rotation, it looks like Garrett Cole, Carlos Rodon, Marcus Stroman, Clark Schmidt, and Nestor Cortez. If Rodon and Cortez can have bounce-back seasons, this rotation could certainly be top 5 in Major League Baseball easily. After a disastrous 2023, the Yankees have gone from an 82-win team to what could potentially be a World Series contender. There hasn't been a single questionable move this entire offseason in my opinion, and with Brian Cashman's history, that's saying something. This season hinges a lot on keeping players off the injured list and relying on guys like Rizzo and Rodon to be the players we've seen them be in the past. The Yankees haven't won or even appeared in the World Series since 2009, and the fans are getting restless. After years of playoff failures in the Judge era, mostly due to malfunctioning offenses, 2024 is absolutely a make-or-break year for the current roster. There are a lot of aging players on bad contracts, and they're being relied on heavily for the success of the team. But no one is being relied on more than the 2023 Cy Young Award winner Garrett Cole, 2022 AL MVP Award winner Aaron Judge, and 2021 NL MVP Award winner Juan Soto.